The Tech Nerdist channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to check us out on Patreon, pop over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's T-E-C-H-N-I-V-O-R-O-U-S. Here, we do our best to stay up to date on the latest and greatest in 3D printing and tech and keep you informed on the latest developments in these sectors. So, if you're interested in getting updates on 3D printing or technology such as programming, robotics, artificial intelligence, and things of that nature, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like on this video, and comment about what you'd like to see in the future because we make these videos for you. Alright, so we've been working on this guy for a little while now. Let me get it into the view here a little bit better. <clears throat> you can see I have a bracket across here now. That is my second iteration. The first one is right here. This is the first attempt um, the holes were a little bit off this one in particular. These were pretty well lined up um, But it was also a little too thick here to drive the screws through so we made a couple of modifications and This was take two now this works really really well if you'd like to see the video on the development of that It is our first members only video, so it's gonna stay there uh, in the future Most members only videos will be members only for a couple days, and then they will go to a regular playlist but uh, a couple will be exclusive and that is one of them. Although it doesn't matter because in the end, the finished part will be available to everybody. So uh, the next step is to get this guy uh, on here and directed at both of those hot ends. Uh, ideally we would have two fans and they would each be independently cooling each one. Um, but for the moment, for the first iteration of this device, we're gonna be using one fan for both of them, uh, which of course is not ideal but it should work. So uh, I have this mount here that I've rigged up, which is basically the same component, but with a couple of screw holes. And I need to see if they line up here. So, and it's actually looking like this part is uh, kind of poorly measured. I'm gonna have to make some adjustments, remeasure, and move a couple of these holes in a little bit tighter. Uh, which is why I didn't take things apart and start attaching it yet. I always want to make sure the new component fits because these holes have been adjusted already and they work properly. So um, this is part of the testing and design process. And the thing is, um, with holes especially, depending on your horizontal expansion settings and things of that nature, um, it's really hard to get them in the exact right place the first time, um, but a little bit of adjusting and that's easy to do in Fusion 360, makes a big difference. So that's why we're printing our prototype parts in a plastic that I have a lot of and not using the actual uh, carbon fiber that we're gonna use to print the finished piece. But basically, so you can get an idea of the gist of this, it's gonna mount right here. It'll be a little bit further back. We had to make sure we had enough clearance for the silicone socks here on the mount. And the fan will mount right here. Now, the next thing we need to do once we get the fan mounted properly is create some sort of side to make the flow go over the hot ends and not just hit it and dissipate out this side. So um, there will be a clip here, but I didn't want to make one of those until we decided where to put this guy. So the next step is going to be where to put this guy, and then we will put a clip in and finalize our design. So we are making progress. I'm going to go ahead and edit this part and I will have another video up when it is done printing and we attach to the machine. But for now, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the dual extruder that we're working on. As you can see, like I said, there is no wobble. I mean, it shakes the whole machine when I tweak one of these. They're pretty sturdy in there. Um, these two bolts right here don't go all the way back. Uh, they're threaded more to the plastic to hold this stable than to be threaded through in the back there to anything. So eventually I will be getting some longer ones and we will tap out two extra holes and get some extensions like we have on the other two, the main two, but these two are braced in there and they are pretty tightly connected. So things are looking good. I did get it down low to the bed here and you can see, I'll bring the camera over here, but there is a very minimal difference between the height of these nozzles. So that's a good thing. It's gonna take very little adjusting and let's see if I can get you a good view of that before we end this video. Right, and just a quick demonstration of the minimal difference. 
minimal difference. Sorry about the tear there. The minimal difference of the nozzle height. So this guy here, um, I can get paper under there just barely. This guy is a lot looser. Um, not a lot. I say a lot because the difference of maybe, let's see, we'll fold it in half. Um, and I can't get that under there. Um, but I can get it under this one just barely so it is about the distance of a piece of paper off uh, when you're leveling your bed and trying to print with two nozzles that is a big enough difference that I am gonna have to make an adjustment but the thing is like I said I haven't done the hot end fix on this particular nozzle yet so we're gonna be putting a piece of PTFE in here to ensure that it stops it from jamming uh, and at that point we will tighten that nozzle up a little bit so um, the way to do that is to release these two, or this, this tiny screw right here, um, and that'll allow you to turn it up into there a little bit further. And it's just a minor adjustment, but it's very necessary in order to get them to print in the same spot when they travel to each other. So we will deal with that as it comes. It's time to get to work on the next iteration of the mount. Well, that's it guys. That's gonna wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link, check out our Patreon link, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.